Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, I got a special request from one of my viewers on asking, how do you study multiplication? And let's face it, if you haven't taken the time to memorize your multiplication facts, it's a little frustrating. So I want to say a special thanks out to, I think it's Peter K-A-M-A-U-7608 for sending that request. I'm always looking at the comments down below, and I always try to reach out and uh, you know, leave a reply. But um, today we're going to find out the best way to memorize multiplication, uh, your multiplication table. You're going to have to practice, and you're going to have to set some time aside to do this. And you're going to have to figure out like a reasonable, you know, uh, uh, schedule that you want to memorize your facts. For my kiddos in my classroom, we're going to memorize one number each week. So it might take 11 or 12 weeks to memorize from zero all the way to 12. Usually we'll just, we'll do zero and ones in one week. Um, you're going to make mistakes and that's okay. Remember, we always learn from our mistakes and you have to make it fun, just have to do it. So one technique is skip counting. Um, that's not like when you're you know walking along and you're skipping. You're gonna take a number like three and you're just taking the threes and you're going three, six, nine, 12, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. And you just kind of want to repeat that. You want to do that for, let's say you're going to spend the week on memorizing threes. Well, use this as one technique, all right? Now for another technique is memory techniques, all right? You, you, you're just going to have to memorize these. But if you keep on repeating them, it's going to come. Use flashcards. Um, if you go to the store, you might be able to find some flashcards like this, multiplication flashcards. You can look on Amazon. They might have some there. If you don't have your flashcards and you want to save money, why not just save money? Make your own flashcards. Get a piece of paper or an index card just like this. Write the number like two times nine. Maybe you're doing twos that week. And then the answer on the back. So when you're taking the card, you're going to be like, okay, two times nine, 18. And then you check it. All right. Two times eight. 15. Ah, I should have said 16. So then you keep that card that you you kind of messed up on, keep that in a separate pile. And the cards that you did, the numbers that you did say correctly, keep them over here and then slowly start to work on the ones that you kind of messed up on. And, and so it'll come and you'll start to uh, memorize these. And like I said, do the twos one week, next week work on to the threes. All right. So another technique um, is recite the multiplication table, all right? So let's say you're in the car, you're at the dinner table, whatever, maybe your mom and dad can help you, but you're going to be saying this. You're going to say two times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, two times four is eight. So you want to keep on saying that. And maybe your mom or dad want to kind of help you with that. Um, again, make it fun. You want to use strategies. Uh, like the 11s, 11 times 2, 22, 11 times 3, 33, 11 times 4, 44. Do you see how the number is doubled? Uh, with the 10s, it's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. With the 9s, there's some so many cool tricks out there. You know, you can search it up on YouTube, um, but I really love the 9s. Um, I, maybe I'll do a video on the 9s, but there's so many cool things. Um, one of the, the cool things is like your finger trick. Uh, you can take it like a ring. And so let's say I'm going to do nine times four. So I count one, two, three, four, and I put that finger down. And so it's 36. Nine times four, 36. So look that up on, on the YouTube. But there's some cool tricks. I love the nines. I just love them. I would recommend going all the way up to 12 um, if you could. But again, take your time. If you did not uh, master a number in a week, then take another week to do it, all right? And uh, don't be afraid to do that. So um, games. Uh, maybe you want to have a ball and uh, you pass it back and forth to your, your mom and dad. And it's like, okay. And, you, and maybe your mom will say, two times three. And you catch the ball, six. And you say a, a number back to them, two times five. And then they'll say 10. So just some fun memory games out there. Another cool... Uh, Strategy are there are some websites out there. I like using this with my students. I really like it. Um, it is called Extra Math, 
X-T-R-A-M-A-T-H dot org, and you can set up a free account. And um, I would recommend, they, they start with addition and subtraction, then multiplication and division, and they work on fluency. Fluency is like, you got to have that answer within a couple seconds. So I'm really liking this website. I use this a lot with my students. You can set up a, a teacher account or just set up an account at home. Um, it, it's tough. I mean, even doing addition and subtraction, you have to nail it. And they will give you a certificate uh, once you master your addition or subtraction or multiplication and division. And when you get that certificate, you'll be like, yeah, you know. You're, and you can also check uh, when you're doing the problems, um, it'll show you the ones that you're, that maybe you have to spend more time with or you're not getting right. So it was like eight times six or six times eight, these problems right there. So um, yeah, check this out. I really like that website. There's another website called Math Fact Lab. It used to be free. I'm not sure if it's free anymore. That was an, another great one. They, they have some great lessons on that uh, website, so I highly recommend that one. Um, otherwise, you can go and find, you know, if you search around, you can find some uh, multiplication um, math websites. This one is Math Playground. I think they might have some, some uh, multiplication and division problems. It's just kind of some fun stuff. Here's what it kind of looks like. You can do tractor multiplication and division. So it's just um, just a fun thing. So like I said, what I would do is probably, um, I think the zeros and the ones go by quickly. I think the twos, you might be able to uh, master those in a week. Um, and then just after you master it, then you, know, you can continue on to the next one. There are some uh, worksheets out there, but um, like I said, when you're doing problems, you you Let's say you you do uh, three times five. You don't want to go like you you don't want to do your numbers. You want to be able to rattle that number up right away. Three times five, fifteen. So if you I I I cannot stress enough. If you take the time to memorize your multiplication, it's going to it's going to help you so much in the higher grades and with your math and especially when you deal with division. So um, you're going to use you're going to keep that skill and you're going to use that skill all of your life. Um, hey, thanks a lot for leaving a comment. Um, we are having so much fun on this show. Um, we're going to be, actually, we're going to be having um, some live shows coming up in the future. So please uh, look for that. So I'll be devoting like an hour or two and we'll be uh, getting requests. So I'm going to be helping you guys uh, with mathematics. Maybe uh, one show will be uh, devoted to multiplication or division or uh, addition. Um, and again, I do check the comments and uh, sometimes I will do some of those problems that you leave in the comments. So, hey, thanks so much for your support. We're almost to 100,000 subscribers. So tell all your friends, hit that subscribe button. Also, take a look right there. That's a uh, to my one of my new channels called Dino Math, where we are having so much fun doing um, Beyblades, dinosaurs and mathematics on that show. That's why it's called Dino Math. And uh, hey, I hope you're getting outside and exercising, being healthy, and just smiling. Hey, have a fun day. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.